Hi, if you're in the market for a brand new SUV, I want to show you what's going to be one of the hottest SUVs on the market. This is a fully redesigned Nissan Pathfinder behind me and there is nothing like it on the market. It's not even like the old one. So let's have a quick look and I'll show you why this is an absolutely amazing choice for what you're looking at. This is the fully redesigned 2022 Nissan Pathfinder Platinum Edition unbelievable new design to this new stance very aggressive looking stance to it it's got a 6,000 pound towing capacity on it we've got a power lift gate which opens really nice and fast has kick motion activation to go with it lots of room here on the inside very easy to maneuver everything around and gives you all kinds of space options very fast so it gives you everything that you need there as well. We've got some storage here. And what's neat about this storage that we're going to see in just a moment is the center console right there will pop out and it will fit right into here for storage while you're out and on the go. This Platinum has beautiful seating with contrasting colors on it and super easy access into the back here. If I want to get in the back, there is a little button down here that I'm just going to push. Everything maneuvers right out of the way so that I have quick easy access to the back seats and once you're in the back and you want to get out Same thing here on the back of the seat Everything drops right back into place making it really easy to maneuver and as I mentioned this piece does come out All you got to do is remove this front clip on the back here and then it will release down here This will pop right out and then go right into that back storage area I've got tri-zone climate control in this so i have my own separate climate control system back here giving me full access to change my temperature direct where my airflow is going to go <clears throat> i've got heated seats back here as well i can control the temperature a couple usb ports and a full plug back here so we've got a 120 volt plug right there as i mentioned this piece here will come right out so all we're going to do is pop this piece off here yes it is supposed to do that and then in underneath here, there's a spot that if I just push, that pops right off. And then that will come right out all together, giving me more room back here. And then from there, we're going to go right around the back. With this open here. We'll pop this part open. And I can now store this right down in out of the way uh, like so so gives you more room back there we're going to put this back in place but really easy to maneuver that as we come around to the front seat here we see an absolutely magnificent setup here i've got memory seats right here and on the platinum edition those memory seats are going to tie in with my side mirrors as well as my steering column as it is a power adjusting steering column which is really neat new button down here so while i am parked i can push that and i have power folding side mirrors which makes it really really nice I have a beautiful nine inch touchscreen display here with navigation your navigation is free updates on it tri-zone climate control this is full touchscreen up here and i'm going to show you reverse on this so our backup camera is there and our 360 degree round view monitor is right there and it's beautifully stitched together Drive mode selector here gives me lots of different options as far as well as hill descent assist, but tow mode is a big one here. Now, your motor has the auto, the auto off for when you come to a start or stop. Typically, I have not liked this feature in vehicles, but this one, it's so smooth, you don't even notice it. Right now, you can see it's not there because we're sitting in park, but it works beautifully. Heated and cooled seats here and lots of options for them there's high medium low for each one they work really well i've got a heated steering wheel i can control the climate for the back from up here as well adaptive cruise and new on the pathfinder is pro pilot assist we've been waiting for this for a while also wireless charge pad apple carplay and android auto for the first time in the pathfinder as well as wireless apple carplay and a wi-fi hotspot and then we have a beautiful 12 inch display up here as well as and it's kind of hard to see but there is a heads up display i can see my speedometer right up here on the vehicle itself i'm going to turn on the adaptive cruise so that you see more stuff pop up there 
And then if I set a destination within the navigation system, so I'll just set the nearest coffee shop here. <clears throat> and then we'll say Tim Hortons. And it's setting it as a destination. The route calculation is complete. Proceed to the nearest road. And once you start to drive, more of that information shows up up on this screen over here as well, which is really neat. Plus, you've got Navi Assist to go with your Pro Pilot Assist. Down here, lots of options. So, our home screen is right here. Now, I'm going to turn my navigation off. And then I see my vehicle show back up with my compass. I've got my radio info. There are a couple different views that I can set with this depending on what I like. Traditional view, which is what a lot of people are familiar with. And then, oh, we're going to go back and we're going to change the view to the newer style view. If we move over, we've got lots of information here as far as the vehicle goes. You can see front wheel versus 4x4 four four on this screen. We've got our tire pressure. Yeah, this is really neat because with the auto start stop, you get a screen that will monitor this and it will tell you how much gas you have saved using this functionality. So really, really neat to be able to track that. We have our navigation system. This screen only shows up when the nav is on. Now, there's no dots here, but when I set a destination, it will show me the full map here as well. I've got my radio info where if I press OK from this screen, I can pick and choose what radio I want to listen to. And then I've got my adaptive cruise. I have traffic sign recognition, where as I pass a traffic sign, it will post it right here. So I always know what the speed limit is and it will post it up above here as well. And then I've got my visuals to go with the full Safety Shield 360 that comes on every trim level of this. Finally, we've got our settings, which we do encourage people to play with. Don't worry about messing anything up. You cannot, there's a factory reset. Pro Pilot turns on and off here. I've got a button for my power lift gate. I've got my heads up display. If I'm not comfortable with that on there, push the button turns it right off or I can turn it right back on. I've also got an auto dimming rear view mirror and a little bit of a change in the style on the moonroof on the Pathfinder this time around. We have a full panoramic moonroof instead of separated and it goes right back. So really, really neat. You can see climate control vents up here for the rear. As I mentioned, you do have a Nissan's full safety shield 360 on this. So you have automatic emergency braking with forward collision warning. You have pedestrian detection. You have lane departure warning with lane departure intervention. You have blind spot indicators out on your mirrors and that comes with blind spot intervention as well. So this is kind of neat. Just as an example, if your driver's side blind spot indicator is lit up and, I, and you signal to go left, it's gonna to start to flash and it will beep at you inside the cabin here. But on top of that, when the beeping and flashing is happening, if you still try and go left at that point, it's gonna actually tap the right side brakes to help pull you back into your lane and prevent you from hitting what is ever in your blind spot there. It's a really neat feature. You've also got rear cross traffic detection, rear sonar, and rear emergency braking, which will kick in approximately one foot away from whatever's behind you to fully stop the vehicle in place and prevent you from making contact back there. You also have high beam assist to go with the automatic headlights. So that's automatic high beams and all of your lighting is LED lighting. So the visibility is phenomenal. So this is a very anticipated redesign for us and for Nissan. The Pathfinder has been in production for a very long time and we've gone back to that masculine style with it. But one of the other new things with this is it still has a 3.5 liter V6. However, we've gotten rid of the CVT and gone to a nine speed automatic transmission with this. After driving this today, what I can say is the power is absolutely there but the shifting is almost as smooth as the CVT shifting. I never had any issue getting where I wanted at any given point, but what a beautiful drive on this. I want you to come in, take this for a test drive. I know that you're gonna love this. The only thing that we're gonna run into is availability and how fast we can put you into one of these. So let's work that all out. Come on in, take a test drive, ask for Robert Ty. I know that you're gonna love it and we're gonna do what we can to help put you into this. Hope to see you soon.